Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning and autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. This particular video, I am going to introduce three characters. One Two, one hero, one villain, and one villain turned hero, if that makes any sense. And I'm going to try to use my Levitz paradigm again for quality and such. And then I'll explain some other things afterwards. So, if you guys bear with me, I'll introduce these three characters for you, and I just hope everything just works as intended, you know? Joanna. Real name? None. Height? 107 stories. Weight? Unrevealed. Status? Hero in Intergalactic Explorer. Base? Deep Space Mobile. Intelligence? Five brains and a plus. Behavior? Intellectual, observant, and somewhat cautious. She always enjoys performing her lifelong destiny. Lethality? Only by accident. Weaknesses? She has an occasional lack in awareness. Powers. She has great size and strength, high intellect, microscopic vision, and acute hearing. She has a cosmic tablet that she uses to type down information. She also has levitation and can survive unaided in space. Eyes light brown, hair tannish brown in a braid. Origin. Joanna is a towering intergalactic explorer destined to examine every planet in the universe. Though her backstory is currently unknown, it is known that she enjoys her job. One time, Joanna visited the planet Golivar, but since the natives were four inches tall and she was 107 stories tall, she at first thought that the planet was barren of life. Eventually, she visited the default Earth, where Lady America and other heroes told her about their home planet, along with the existence of the nearly identical Alpha Earth, marking both of those worlds as her favorites. Joanna, since, chose to visit the two worlds more often, and has recently having a good friendship with Vendor. Costume. She wears the traditional explorer clothes. Teams. Solitary with Vendor and other heroes. Original inspiration, intergalactic exploration. Just so you know, Vendor is basically the anointed goddess of finances, as far as I know, who used to collect things and now always has to make sure that she has permission to do so. You know, I'll explain more about her at some point in the future. Here's the next character. Cacticus. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 1,550 feet. Weight, unrevealed. Status, villain. An ally of Plantrix. Base, alter dimension, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, savage, destructive, and torturous. She enjoys making others suffer. Lethality, as above. Never try to touch her. Weaknesses, missing parts. Ice and blades. Powers. She has a huge size, can sprout a series of detachable spikes, and rarely needs water. She is also immune to extreme heat. Eyes light green, hair light green, structure filled with spikes. Origin. One time, the heroic Galactica chose to create a new plant based organism to destroy Plantrix, an earlier creation of hers that became corrupt. After altering the DNA of a Shagraro, she created a towering humanoid cactus hybrid. Naming her as simply Cacticus, Galactica commanded her to destroy Plantrix. Unfortunately, Cacticus figured that it was more inspiring to team up with Plantrix and thus betrayed her creator. Since then, Cacticus would spend her time destroying entire cities or having quality time with Plantrix, therefore making herself another hard challenge for Galactica. Costume. 
She is composed of cactus-like matter. Team Solitary with Frank Plantrix and other villains. Original inspiration, Cacti. Here's the last character I'm going to introduce, who's also a native to the altered dimension. Lady Grande. Real name, Lacey Grande. Height, 8 feet to 5 million feet. Weight, 244 pounds to unrevealed. Stannis, villain turned hero and ally of Powerhouse. Base, Alter Dimension, Mobile. Intelligence, Three Brains. Behavior, Tough, yet loving and willful. She's willing to help others. Lethality, Only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, Low Awareness. She's easily carried away. Owls. She possesses similar powers as Olga, along with mass alteration, uncanny reasoning skills, and doesn't radiate with quantumite energy. Eyes deep green, hair oranges blonde and glow. Origin. In the altered dimension, Lacey Grande was a young woman who just wanted more quality in her life. One day she was persuaded by the evil Blood Lord to be experimented on to gain mass alteration and immense strength. After being carelessly brainwashed by Blood Lord, Lacey was given the name Lady Grande and was commanded to destroy the Chicago of the native Alpha Earth. Eventually, Powerhouse, the native Quantum, arrived and disabled her brainwashing, freeing her from the will of Blood Lord, basically. Since then, Lady Grande will do anything to be a hero, and is good friends with Powerhouse. Costume. She usually dresses in wrestler clothes. Team Solitary, with Powerhouse and other heroes, Origin Inspiration, Giganta. Those are the three characters I'm going to introduce, and now I'm going to attempt to make things work on behalf of my Levitt's Paradigm, and I just hope this is working. And if so... Thank you in advance. Okay. Da -da -da -da. There's dead vines, which are basically ghost vines, you know, that's basically, uh, like, basically, uh, easily put and such. There's Gator Squadlodon, which is head of an alligator, um, body of a Quetzalcoatlus, tail and fins of a shark, and uh, it's quite a feral in like organism and such. Let's see, there's gator snail, which is half alligator, half snail. There's gigalantula, which is basically a kind of world eater, which is a spider the size of an entire planet, like Earth, for example. Gigasquito is a planetary-sized mosquito that drains the life essence from a planet and rendering it barren of all life, in terms of being unable to produce life. Goblin rexes, or half T-rex, half goblin shark, which is an actual species of shark. It's just that you don't see it as often. Do to Gorilla Conda, which is basically waist up the body of a gorilla and waist down the body of an anaconda. Gorilla, gorilla rats, which are basically like head, feet, and tail of a rat, and the rest of the body is that of a gorilla. Do 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 do. <laughs> Grizzly Baina. Imagine, uh, just so you know, an Amphis Baina is a snake with one head on each end of its body. A Grizzly Baina is like that, but with Grizzly Bear heads on each end of a serpentine body. Just to put that in context for you guys. What else? There's Grizzly Rattler, which is head of a Grizzly Bear, body of a rattlesnake and also covered in grizzly bear fur. Mm-hmm. 
there's a type of robot pig that, as far as I know, is like basically an android pig, like a like a wild warthog or something. It's known as the Hamroid, and it's the only name I could figure out, and I just hope that it's decent quality and such. There's the hippo boa croc, which is head of a hippopotamus, body and tail of a boa constrictor, and legs of a crocodile. There's the hippo heifer horse, which is basically a three-way cross between a hippopotamus, a cow, and a horse, which I honestly think is head of a hippo, front half the body of a cow, and back half the body of a horse, or maybe front half body of a horse and back half body of a cow. Just, I'm just trying to make things comprehensible for you guys. There's hippo walrus which is basically head of a walrus and body of a hippo. Hog mato, which is half warthog, half tomato. Basically picture it this way. It's a head of a warthog, body of a tomato. And it does have vines, just so you know. Hog rhino, which is head of a rhinoceros, body of a warthog. do Hornet bats, which are basically head of a vampire bat, body of a hornet, and they do travel in swarms, and I think they're like around yay big as far as I know. Hornet mantis, which is waist up the body of a mantis and waist down the the body of a hornet, including the wings of a hornet, as far as I know. And then, hen. House of Boa Puss is basically head of a house, body of a boa constrictor, and tentacles of an octopus. And then, hen. Howling crows, which are basically like. Think of it this way, it's um, basically head, wings, and front legs of a crow, and the rest of the body is that of a wolf, so picture a wolf, but instead of a wolf head, it's a crow's head, front legs is replaced with crow legs, and the wings of a crow, if that makes any sense. Howling Orca, which is half orca whale, half wolf, inspired from a legendary monster known as the Whale Wolf. Hydra Nazis, which are basically hydras that serve the Axis powers, you know. Theodon. Ichthyodon is like half shark, half ichthyosaurus. Jagged Rex, basically imagine a T-Rex that is just coated with jagged spikes all over it that, as far as I know, are detachable. Jellyquatilus, which basically is a jellyfish with the wings of a Quetzalcoatlus, and also Quetzalcoatlus heads on the end of each tentacle, as far as I know. Jelly King, which is head of a lion, body of a jellyfish. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. There's also the jump cutter, which, as far as I know, is inspired from 
um, hmm. a uh, short film from the horror short film uh, group Alter called Still, apparently. And I could have sworn it's inspired from The Crooked Man, as far as I know, but I could have sworn it's, and yet that's just how it is. You know, some have more data than others, so I hope you guys understand. I'll try to do one more for you guys. Just There's the killer color, which is a color that if you look at it for too long, it would make you lose your sanity and even want to take your own life in terms of that. You know, it's the kind of color that's so unpleasant that your mind wouldn't be able to tolerate it, especially if you see it often enough, you know? So yeah, those are the, uh, the things, and I hope th I'm still recording this video. I apologize if not. Uh, yes, I am. Okay, uh, perfect. So if you guys know, the reason why I was exhausted at the beginning of this video is because I just got back from working at McDonald's and doing a lap on my trike. I have done a lot of stuff today, and the fact that I have to make this video for you guys because I don't want to procrastinate, and I don't want you guys to lose interest. And here's another thing, and I apologize if I already said this in a previous video. I have 43 subscribers so far, and I'd like at least 61 subscribers at some point. Because there's a YouTube group called the Charleston Brothers. They have 61 subscribers, last I checked. And what they do is literal criminal activity. If criminals have more subscribers than I do, it's not a good sign. So I just hope that I would have at least 61 subscribers because I'd like to make things work for my entire multiverse, and I hope you guys understand. So if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below if you want. And uh, also share if you want. You don't have to. It's all on you. So I hope you guys have a fine rest of the school year and such. Especially since my mom works at an elementary school and such, if that makes any sense. So enjoy your month of May, and until next time, enjoy the mission.